Hello and welcome to another session. In this session we are going to find ways in which you are going to be able to control your emotions. A lot of people are challenged their emotions. They feel sadness, they feel anger. Sometimes they are very much up and down in their emotional state and this causes havoc in their lives. They feel overwhelmed and at times they feel that they have no control. Yet, if you are able to control your mind, if you are able to reprogram your mind, you will be able to control your emotional state. It is simply understanding your unconscious processes that will help you to unlock the doors of your emotional state. And to do that, in this session, we're going to take a deep dive into your unconscious state and see the inner workings and make the right adjustments so that you become more and more in control of your emotional state and respond to external stimuli that is events in your life in a more proactive and constructive way. Your only duty in this session is to let go and listen. While the words that you hear may mean something, it is your unconscious that will make certain interpretations and understand patterns in the speaking that will help to alter the programming of your mind much like the programming you have since your childhood. Your programming runs with pre-patterns. That means patterns that are installed by the experiences, your upbringing, and the experiences that have had impact in your life. They construct an ideal image of what life should be, how things are, and your actions are stemming from these beliefs from these thoughts and you have only one duty that is to be true to yourself try to understand how you react to circumstances to experiences to events and notice the pattern and once you notice the pattern it is easy to convert these patterns into constructive behaviors that bring out desired results so let us begin by taking a comfortable reclining position, preferably a lying down position in which your head is supported, that you are only engaged in the activity of relaxing at this current time. That means you have to ensure that you will not disturb for the duration of this recording, which will be about an hour. Now, this session is compromised of two parts. One will be our discussion, our induction. The second part will contain subliminal messages in music. So those parts will be listened and you will hear music. But your unconscious mind will hear far more than what you hear with your ears. This is why it is important to understand that your mind is a very complex system. It is so complex that it is able to record every event, every experience, every emotion, in your subconscious and your subconscious also controls every aspect of your body's system that is the immune system your breathing your digestive system it controls everything in your system yet it does that without you having to think about it and also it has the ability to construct ideas and images for you to remember things this is important because everything that you do stems from the unconscious and must be altered in the, con up in the unconscious level to make significant impact. Now as you are lying down or reclining, fix your eyes to a spot in the ceiling or further ahead where your eyes can remain fixated and your palms can turn towards the ceiling with your arms and legs unfolded. And as you look at this spot, notice that your attention becomes more focused. Because now, intentionally, you are bringing your attention to focus on one thing. And that is where you are looking at. But yet, you can also concentrate on your breathing. Taking a deep breath in, 
holding it for a count of three and then ever so slightly and softly you can release the air from your lungs and as you exhale you will notice that you have done something beautiful which is slow down your breathing which in effect tells your body that you are safe that you are calm that you can relax and let go in this safe space you are able to allow your muscles to relax to let go of the thoughts of the day with your worries and anxieties left outside the door and turn inwards where your unconscious processes will guide you to a deeper understanding of your actions and behaviors. This is why it is important as you keep staring at that spot to continue to breathe softly and gently. And as you do so, you can begin now to relax those parts of your body that may have held tension throughout the day, like your jaw and your tongue and your lips and your throat. And you may notice that you are also in the process of allowing the relaxation to spread to your forehead, to the back of your head, behind your ears and down your neck. You may find that like most people, that your shoulders may have held tension and they can now release and as you release the tension down your arms and forearms and to your hands and all the way down to your fingertips, you may find that there is a sensation in the middle of your palms, something like a tingling sensation or warmth. If you are following this properly, you should be feeling a sensation that is unique to each hand. And this is the first signal that you will have that you are becoming somewhat unconscious now as you open the gates of your conscious processes where you, they become muted and silenced because the critical and judgmental thinking that has prevailed in the conscious mind are now shut and they are silenced so that now your unconscious will reign supreme. It will be the unconscious that hears things and corresponds with the thoughts and ideas and allows the changes to happen naturally without any hindrance, without any judgment because the unconscious mind never judges but follows what the mind has been programmed to do. It is this process that will lead us to emotional control, control that comes from understanding why we do what we do and how we react to certain events and experiences. At times it may be difficult to break out of the pattern, yet with the awareness that comes from the reprogramming of your mind, you will be able to see how you react, what your patterns of behavior are, and then make adjustments so that you are in full control. You will be doing things in a much different way than the way you had been doing them. That is a paradigm shift, and that paradigm shift will build confidence, empower you, and allow you to experience the world in a much more pleasant and constructive way, in a way that leads to happiness, joy, and fulfillment, because you will no longer be at the mercy of your emotional state, but in control of your emotional state, where it will serve to help you to connect with others experience things in a more full sense where you will be able to laugh and cry and know that you are safe, that you are good, that you will be all right no matter what life brings you. This is important because in this day and age when so many people are so dependent on antidepressants and medications to control their emotional state, you will become the master of your emotional state if you understand how you react, how you experience your reality. If your experience comes from the point of fear, loss, and you are unaware of your actions and your thoughts, it will only lead to chaotic outcomes, outcomes that are undesirable for the betterment of yourself. This is why I tell my clients the first step in understanding yourself is to listen to yourself, to understand how you talk to yourself, what you say to yourself, 
And if you find at this very moment that you don't talk to yourself, is the talk that you're experiencing, that thought is your self-talk. And now I will tell you the mastery of emotional states rests upon the idea that you are not bound to react a certain way when events happen in your life. For example, when someone mistreats you, it does not mean that you have to act in anger or you have to act with rage. It just means that you have a choice. You have a choice to maybe diffuse the situation or move away from the situation in which you may decide at a later date to do something more constructive. And if your idea is that this will continue to occur, that you must take decisive action, you will make plans and arrange circumstances so that you are always in the right, that the other person is faced with the idea that they may lose if they continue with their actions. This is very important because it allows you to have power over the events rather than be a victim or a bystander of the circumstances in which you live. This is why, as you relax and let go, your mind will start drifting. And if you haven't already done so, you can close your eyes and drift down. Because as you drift down, your mind knows that your body is relaxing and it can let go. Just like the time when you are about to fall asleep. You could hear words, you could listen to things and know that everything will be safe. That it will be alright. That you could just let things happen. Because you know that there is a connection between the mind and the body. And as you allow your body to relax, so does your mind. As your mind lets go, so does your body. And as you relax those muscles, it signals to your mind that you can just let go. And turn the attention inwards in which you will be in a more profound state of relaxation in a more state of unconsciousness that overwhelms your senses. It allows you to feel the weight of your body against the gravity and it will feel a lot heavier, like your arms are made of lead, that your legs are like lead, that they are stuck and unmovable, just like your eyelids that are closed shut with iron curtains that are bolted, that they are cemented, that they are glued, that no matter how much you try to open, they will not open. And as you let go, you go twice as deep, three times as fast, into a state of unconsciousness. And that is the sleep between the wakefulness and a dream, in which you will hear the words comfortably, your mind will construct things, yet you will be almost like a dream, that you will let your body sleep, your conscious mind, turned off and dead while your unconscious mind allows these words to make utter sense, allowing the neuro-linguistic programming of your mind to happen. And as it does so, you may notice that while you were drifting, thoughts came and went easily without hesitation, that you could hear things and your mind made sense, yet your mind has drifted further down like as if taking an elevator with each number flashing down 20 to 19 to 18 and you could see all the numbers going down, down, down as you let go your mind just goes deeper and as you land to the zero which is the most bottom floor you will be so deeply relaxed so profoundly asleep that the words will work their magic that you will hear them and let go and notice that you have had a roller coaster. As you open the doors, you will see that you have been reacting to events as you see them before you. The events that you recall where you were emotional. Watch yourself, what you felt, what you did. But from a third person point of view, watch yourself in the screen. And notice how it seems to be watching yourself, how you are reacting to these things. Notice how it may seem absurd at times that you have reacted so strongly that you have given away to your urges to react in a way that would be a little over the top. 
that you are affected more than what would seem like what other would people would be affected as. You may find that you are actually watching a version of yourself that has less control. Yet now you are able to observe yourself from the outside as you do now. Notice how people are reacting to you, how things are unfolding and the consequences of these events, these reactions. Yet, you have power, power to turn things in a different way that is constructive, that is positive, and that yields results that you seek. Now, I would like you to find the panel of emotional control state, in that there is a big dial in the center with a beautiful reading. Now, I want you to turn that dial up and up take it all the way to the top as you may notice it was very low now it is turned up and this is going to provide you with emotional control notice how things become alive how the room lights up and as you allow yourself to watch yourself renewed that you can imagine how you would want to say certain things how you would like to react how you would like to answer how you would like to be in control. This is your ideal self that cannot make a mistake because you are perfect in this idea that you can say whatever you want and make it happen. That the reactions of others solely based upon what you want them to be. That if you want to control your emotional state, this has already began. The challenges that are happening in your mind in your unconscious mind now are strong and permanent. Permanent in the sense that you will be in control and act and react to things that are in your life with equanimity that is in control and in full understanding of the implications that will have so that you can have the desired results allowing things to happen in their own natural way, that you are no longer slave to your emotions, yet you harness them like tamed horses. You will allow them to act the way it should be. You can now watch yourself laugh. You can watch yourself be happy. And there is no guilt. There is no questioning. There is no criticism. There is no judgment. Because you are fully in the moment, letting yourself be Letting the, your best version of yourself shine. And that when circumstances become such that they are very challenging, you will take the time to take a deep breath in and observe yourself. Observe the circumstances and slow down the time to a point in which you can make decisive decisions that are constructive, positive and sensible. Sensible is important because you want to know that your actions are going to have ramifications, that is consequences for days and months and years to come. If you want those reactions, those words and thoughts to be fruitful, you will need to now allow the changes to happen naturally in your unconscious mind now. Because as you do to make changes, things will happen naturally, that you will have new arsenal of tools in which to construct your reality, to know what to say, to have composure, not to be overwhelmed when things get difficult, not to have the idea that you are the person whom you were and ceased to exist, but now a new version of you has evolved, better version that has the ability to control, not to overreact, to observe how the reactions may have played out and make wiser choices, one that is in control, one that allows room for maneuver, allowing you to make decisions that will have positive results in your life. In a way, you will be making changes that will give you strong foundation for emotional stability and day and day you will be less reliant on medications if you are taking them 
you will be less reliant on the approval of others, and you will build confidence knowing that you are at the helm of your emotional state. Because as you have made these changes and they become more permanent, you may find that you will be sleeping a few extra hours for a couple of nights. And as you repeat these listenings time and time again, it will become a habit. It will be ingrained so that you will be always in control. This is why repetition is so important. It is so important to listen to your senses, to listen to this recording, because the repetition will instill in your mind the correct programming that happens with people who are successful, because they know that their lives are dependent on their actions and thoughts and their behaviors. It is their actions and thoughts that has separated them from the rest of the people because they realize that they have to take control of their emotional state and rule their lives by the very foundation that they must understand why they do what they do and that life events are not the dictators of their lives but their actions and reactions and behaviors ultimately decide their destiny. This is why you will be making changes permanent as you march towards a state of control over your emotional state. And as we do so, I would like you to begin to listen to this music that is about to start and allow this music to help your mind to ease. It will feel like a warm massage in your thoughts and brain. It will allow you to relax and drift down to a deeper state of sleep in which you will be programmed to become a stronger person emotionally. And this is why as you listen, you can let go and relax and go deeper and deeper as you fall asleep. And the next day when you wake up, you will feel refreshed and reinvigorated and more in control confident and each time you repeat this process it will become stronger and stronger and every day you will remember that these recordings are your roadways these are the paths to understanding that change is ever present that it happens and that you have sent out this wonderful energy into the universe in which you wanted to take call take care of your emotional state and have control and the universe is answered through this recording so that you will be in control you will be able to take command and as you listen you will feel relaxed and allowing your mind to sink to a deep profound sleep now
Thank you.